Hey everybody, I'm Lucy Murphy. So today's video, I'm going to be doing bookshelf scavenger hunt. It's not really a tag, I guess now. Just bookshelf scavenger hunt. So some of these things I do not have. I have this bookcase and I have one over there. It's my Nancy Drew bookshelf. I have everything Nancy Drew over there. So I only picked up one book from that bookshelf. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to be focusing more on this bookshelf that is currently behind me. So without any further ado, let's get started. Need my glasses because I can't read small print apparently. Okay, number one, find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. I'm going to pick Suzanne Collins who wrote the Hunger Games series. Okay, number two, find a classic. I just got this one um, last Tuesday, and it came out um, in the 1930s, so this is a huge classic. Number three, find a book with a key on it. I don't have one with a key, at least I don't, I don't think I do. I mean, I may have one in one of my Nancy books, but <laughs> there's 56. <laughs> Number four, find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. I don't, I mean, if you count video game to be a, considered not a book and be okay, then I'll have a picture of one of the games I have right here. Um, uh, I have it on my Neyazju bookshelf over there. So yeah, that, I, guess that, I guess that counts. Number five, find the oldest book on your shelf. I'm going back to this one, like if I can mm, do the same one twice. Um, this is oop, this is the oldest one I have uh, from my bookshelf. Again, 1930s, 1932, so yeah, this is really old. <laughs> Number six, find a book with a girl on the cover. Go I'm going to pick uh, Evangeline from The Silent Songbird as a girl on the cover, because obviously, you know. Number seven, find a book with a boy on the cover. Marcus, there we go. Uh, the Guardian from the O'Malley series. Number eight, find a book with an animal on it. This is like a mythical creature, but it's an animal. It didn't say, you know, it didn't, you know, all it says is find a book that has an animal on it or in it. In it. Okay, this works because there are tigers in it. There we go. So we're going with Tiger's Destiny. Okay. Find a book with a male protagonist. Okay, and that is this is going to be uh, the Master Chief from from uh, the Fall of Reach uh, book. Um, I don't know. If this is the only one that I'm positive that I'm 100% positive that it is a male leading character, even though it kind of keeps flipping back and forth. It is all about his, you know, you know him and his team and everything. He is a Spartan. He works on like he's part of a team. He's trying to save the universe. Um, so yeah, I mean everything else. I mean yeah, there are men in it, but I don't know if they're actual leading characters. I guess I could have chosen the Guardian again because he's a leading character. Next, find a book with only words on it. Next, find a book with illustrations in it. Guess I don't have one. I know I do, I just can't find it. Okay, find a book with gold lettering. Gold lettering. Gold lettering. Does this count? I mean, it's gold, then, you know, lettering, so. Guess it counts, so Tiger's Quest. Next. Find a diary. Don't have one. Find a book written by someone with a common name. Can it be Terry? That's a common name, I think. So, yeah, Terry Blacksock, If I Live. Next. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. Would this work? I know it... It's kind of torn here, but would this work? 
Because it's a close-up of her face. Would that work? I think. Uh, if I'm found. Find a book on a shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Can uh, TBR books work? 1944. Uh, this book takes, takes place in 1944, Blue Skies Tomorrow. So I think this would work. Next one. Find a hardcover book without a jacket. I do. All my name, all my name, Nancy Drew books are hardback, but no jacket. So all the Nancy Drew books, 56. But I'm going with this one. The Mystery at Lilac Inn. Next, find a teal slash turquoise colored book. I'm gonna go with Mockingjay because that's the closest to the color I think works. So yeah, going with Mockingjay. Find a book with stars on it. Does this work? Because there's stars here. So I think that works. Find a non-young adult book. Fantasy romance. So yeah, this isn't technically YA, I don't think at least. I think it's Say It, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go with Tiger's Dream. Next, find the longest book you own. The longest? Have to be this. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is 814 pages. Find the shortest book you own. Um, it have to be this. Uh, Jennifer and O'Malley Love Story. It's very, very short, as you can, as you can see. So yeah, shortest book I own. Find a book with mo with multiple POVs. Can I choose my book? Just kidding. Uh, is, this is the only book that um, switches back to most of the time. It goes between two characters, but sometimes, I think in like two, three or four chapters, it uh, goes to uh, the enemy of the story. So I'm gonna go with If I Live Again. I mean, I'm, just, I'm gonna go with Tiger's Destiny. I mean, it looks it looks shiny. You did this, and all the flames and stuff like that. So yeah, it looks shiny. So I'm gonna go with Tiger's Destiny again. Last question: Find a book with flowers on it. Oh gosh. Hey, guess I can't find a book with flowers on it. Okay, that's it for today's video.